All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here on Strap Saturday. And today we've got a couple of new straps from Armia Strap Company. If you guys watch the videos I have here on straps on the channel, you know I've shown the Armia NATO straps here on the channel. Very well done, uh, seatbelt style straps, very nice hardware, always top quality. Love the Griffin logo they put on the buckles of their straps. Today we're gonna to be checking out a couple of straps from their Sabre line. Now this is just two that are available out of, I do believe we have um, seven or eight down here on the paperwork. It looks like eight different uh, colorways and variations. Some are distressed, some are just smooth. So they may be the same color, but they just have a different uh, finish to the top of the leather. So really good looking straps. Let's go ahead and bring one up here to the camera. Now this is the distressed dark brown leather. Now this is Italian Walpier Butero leather, vegetable tanned. 2.4 millimeters of thickness on this. It does <clears throat> fold over here at the top where it meets the case. So you do need to be aware of that. It's gonna kind of double over or get kind of thick, 2.4 millimeters in here. So you may need to use uh, bent spring bars to get it on the watch. You've got 130 millimeters in length on the bottom portion of the strap, 75 on the top. Now they do say on the website that that is customizable because when you, these are actually made to order. They don't have these sitting around. They may have maybe some blanks made, but they are made to order. You actually can get your initials and let's see if we can see it. You see the A and the D up there at the top. You can actually have your initials uh, stamped or you know um, embossed into the strap. Let's you know on here, these are made by a Mia. It's a little tough to, to see full grain Italian leather, but really nicely done. You've got a uh, wax linen, French linen, um, uh, or Italian linen, I believe, um, stitching that's done here. Very professionally done. Nice holes cut at very nice positions. I have to say that once I put this on the wrist, it came, it, it fit really well. And you can see how they finished off the end of the strap here, kind of these nice squared off cuts. Very good look. And now, like I said, they have available in a couple of different um, uh, finishes. This is the distressed, I do believe, the distressed top leather. This might be the smooth, but it looks like the distressed. And this one here, I've put this, this is on actually, if I didn't mention it, the Melbourne uh, Port C, which is a really beautiful watch. I, I like the dark um, contrast against the gold on the case. Now this one is the Whiskey Brown, Distressed Whiskey Brown. I put this on the Earnshaw Bauer, the skeletonized watch. Looks really cool on there. This actually comes on a stainless steel bracelet, but I think something about the leather with all this stainless just looks really, really cool. Good looking strap again, 2.4 millimeters of thickness. You're going to get 130 on the bottom length, millimeter wise, and 75 at the top. Again, the brushed silver hardware on here with the Griffin logo. I do believe that this is available in a brushed and then a black. I don't know that they're actually making polished hard year, hardware excuse me, yet for these. Let's go ahead and get one of these on my wrist, just take a look at it. Uh, I think there's a blue style out there also that you can see here, which is a neat one, and then a couple of different black versions also available. Now, like I said, um, where it folds over there at the top, because you got 2.4 millimeters of thickness on the strap, you may need to look at getting some bent spring bars for putting these on your watch. Really just depends on how close those holes are to the case. You can see this one is actually making contact with the case. At this point, I didn't actually have any bent spring bars, so I couldn't do that, but it really looks good on the watch. Actually makes this watch quite a bit more comfortable, nice and lightweight. Uh, that skeletonized design, excuse me, makes the watch wear very well. Good buckle and hardware on here, nice double leather keepers. Everything done in that top grain uh, Italian Butero leather. The vegetable tanning process also makes these very comfortable, nice, easy to wear. Um, you know, there's not, it, for me, it seems like in the vegetable tan leather doesn't take as much time to break in. It's just, it's already kind of got this soft feel to it. Of course, the more you wear these straps, um, the distressed or whatnot, the more you're going to see a little bit of wear to them. And that actually adds quite a bit of character. You know, over the years, if that oil vegetable tanning wears down, you can actually use uh, wax or anything you else, else you want to treat it. But great, great looking straps from Armia. $50 or $49, I should say, over at the website. Definitely check out the link I'm going to leave down below in the bottom. I think they're a great, great option out there. So many nice leather straps to choose from in the world. And this is just a really, really another nice offering from Armia. Uh, get over there to the website, check them out. Check out their NATO straps too, because they make some really, really nice NATO straps. All right, guys, that is the video on the Armia Saber Strap. If you like it, give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom. And if you've not subscribed to the OFG channel, OFD channel yet, please do. Please do. All right, thanks, guys.